Hey, yeah. Hello, Hooka.org. It is Paul here on a very unpleasantly hot uh, summer night in Southern California. And I'm going to set up a session for you guys. And you're going to come along with me. And I'm going to show you how to make the coldest session you've ever had. Which, by the way, is amazing on really hot summer nights like this. So, um, the first and most obvious thing is to get some ice. Uh, now, you'll be able to see this in the close-up that I'm doing, but I already have some water in the base of my hookah. Uh, that is to protect the glass from temperature shock. If you just drop ice cubes into an empty vase, there's a chance that the ice could actually shatter the glass, and that is very much not something you want to have happen, especially when it's such a pretty, pretty vase like this one. Uh, if you have a little bit of water in there, it's a nice buffer, and you drop the cubes in, there's not as much impact, and there's not as much of a temper temperature shock. Um, now, the next thing that you'll want to grab is some Altoids. Yes, I know, it's... Um, it's something that I often consider to be a bit of a waste, but when I first started smoking hookah, I got the idea to crush up some Altoids and throw them in the base water, and who oh boy, did that enhance the minty, minty session. Um, you really want to crush them up and dissolve them so they actually impart a lot of the menthol. You're not going to get as much mint flavor from these, but mostly just the cooling sensation. Um, you don't need a huge number of them because they are quite strong, uh, but you're not going to overdo it either. If you love a really serious mint kick, whatever, throw the whole tin in there. Um, lastly, what I suggest is some kind of ice hose like this. This is the Aegir... Um, ice hose that comes with its own little ice packs that you throw in the freezer. Oh, that's a wonderful noise. Uh, put inside your hose and seal it up and it gives you a nice nice additional level of cooling right before the smoke actually gets to you and to your lungs. It can also be a good idea to have a diffuser on your hookah as it helps the smoke get more in contact with the ice that you now have in the base. Oh yeah. That is a cold. <laughs> that is um that is piercingly cold and it is kind of amazing right now because my fan's not working. And this is one of the best ways to cool down for me. All right, um, last final thoughts on these techniques. Um, obvious stuff. If you're going to set up a, uh, a hookah that is very, very cold, if you really want to push that to the, the, the top level, you're going to want to smoke a mint tobacco. Smoke something like... Um, Nakhla Miso Mint or uh, Social Smoke Absolute Zero, which is what I'm smoking right now, and it is oh so potent. It's, it, it's kind of wonderful. Um, but you can use this with other tobaccos as well. Any fruit flavors usually go beautifully with the mint flavor of the uh, Altoids and stuff like that, and it's really great. Um, now, lastly, if you're going to set this up Start your coals, get your bowl packed, get the coals almost done, and then do all this work. Otherwise, by the time you're ready and by the time the bowl starts going, the ice is going to be completely melted, your uh, freeze packs and your hose are not going to uh, have any, any power anymore, and it's just going to end up disappointing. But this, it should last for a while. Oof. If I keep blowing clouds like that, it's going to start sleeting in here. Um, but that's it. Uh, this is 
my method for getting the coldest smoke out of a hookah. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try this out this summer. It is absolutely the right season for it. It feels like it's going to be a scorcher already. But this is Paul for hookah.org saying thank you very much for joining us. Please go down below, like, and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It really helps us out. Let's us know what you'd like to see. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, let me know. Give me topics that you would love me to cover, and I will do exactly that. Uh, make sure to check out the forums. Make sure to get yourself a nice cold drink, a nice cold hookah, and I hope you enjoy some very chill sessions this summer. Happy smoking.